Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about UGC NET exam. As an alternative to CSI NET, there is another one that is UGC NET, which is really popular among most of the students. Now, what is the fundamental difference between CSI NET as, as well as UGC NET? Is that CSI and UGC NET is a joint venture by CSI and UGC together. They both give fellowship separately. But in case of UGC NET, there are subjects separated than CSI NET. CSIR and CSI and UGC NET combined one, the same one. They conduct exam mostly based on the science graduates and science postgraduates while the UGC NET is mostly based on the arts section. So it will cover most of the arts and commerce topics. But there is one particular subject that a science stream student can apply for in UGC NET exam and that is earth science. So if you belong to any other life science field as well, you can apply for earth science. Okay, that is a good thing about it. Many students ask me, I belong from zoology, botany and other subjects. Can I appear in UGC NET in earth science? Yes, you can. But after you qualify, uh, during interview, they may ask you this question. You need to explain them properly that you want to work with the environmental ecology and related uh, other related works. That's why you choose that. So now let's talk about the syllabus and subject pattern. Now the subject we're talking about is the earth science and the syllabus you can easily find it in the internet. Just type in the earth science, UGC net earth science syllabus and you'll find out the detailed syllabus about it. I'm not going to talk about the details of the syllabus. But there's only one particular subject that you can appear in and that is earth science and that includes atmospheric science, earth science, ecology and environmental biology and the other things. Okay, so what is the age limit here? The age limit for UGC NET is provided to be 31 years, which is more than that of the CSI UGC NET. So 31 years is the maximum age limit for general category uh, student and for SCST there will be relaxation after that age. Now regarding this age limit, okay, this age limit means till that age you will be able to take the exam. And how exactly they calculate the age limit? They will calculate the age limit based on the date of the exam from your date of birth. That's how they generally calculate the age limit. What is the qualifying criteria? The qualifying criteria is very similar and exactly the same as the CSI UGC NET one. And in this case, you need to score 55% or above in the last, uh, last uh, degree of yours, that is master's or master's equivalent degree. So you need 55% and above in master's or master's equivalent degree, then only you can apply for this particular exam. Otherwise your application will be rejected. And then it depends on how much you score in the UGC NET based on that score you'll be selected. So about the exam pattern, how exactly the exam is conducted. The exam for UGC NET is also being divided into two different parts. One is paper one, another one is paper two. The paper one means it's aptitude reasoning. That's the part that everybody need to go through and second one is the subjective paper so no matter which subject you belong the paper one remain constant you need to appear in that you need to score there and paper two uh, it's your subject if you are from earth science you'll go with that if you have geography you'll go with that if you have history you'll go with that if you have political science you'll go with that so that is the second paper so that's the difference between these two papers and how exactly the exam is conducted the, the first paper consists of 100 marks the second paper consists of 200 marks and total of 300 marks and they will give you three hours in total so that is 180 minutes in total to appear in the exam now the exam right now is in the cbt mode that is in the computer based mode and the questions are all mcqs so you need to solve those mcqs and if you successfully solve an mcq and get uh, the cut of marks and more than cut of marks will be uh, considered as a qualified candidate now there is no negative marking this time for the ugc net while i am recording the video many a times what happens for these exam related updates when i make the video the, there is something else going on as their rule and when you watch the video the time may change let's say you watch it for after two years the situation may change so in that case the video in that case instead of typing a negative comment please look at the published date of the video and what we share is valid while we're talking about it in this video so now we'll see the summary in your computer screen regarding it as a, a rough idea about what it is which month the form is out which month the csr uh, which month the ugc net forms are out which are the subjects and, and more details about the ugc net in my computer screen let's see it let's talk about a quick revision about the UGC NET exam and here I'll be talking about the starting process that is application release in the month of August now this uh, numbers this months may vary from time to time the reason is that due to corona 
uh, the all different exam months are a little bit modified for 2021 so i'll keep that in mind so the average num uh, month that is described here may be followed in future years may be changed in future years so the release of the form is, is in the month of august then exam month is october the age limit relaxation not more than 31 years for jrf and there is nothing uh, about age relaxation for ls education qualification you must have a qualified masters or equivalent listed degree scoring 55% from any state or central recognized university okay and for 50% for scst obc and pwt candidates the application fees now for general category or unreserved, unreserved category it's 1000 rupees per form for general ews or obc non criminal category 500 rupees per form for scst and pwd candidates it's 250 rupees per form now let's look at the exam pattern that we have in UGC NET 2021. The test will con consist of two papers. Both paper will consist of objective type, multiple choice questions, and uh, this will be there won't be any break between all these papers. So mode of exam obviously computer mode, CBT mode, timing generally goes for 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and there's, there's a second shift that is 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. The question paper language is English as well as in Hindi. The duration of the exam is 3 hours or 180 minutes. Type of questions asked, multiple choice, CBT mode. Number of questions in paper 1, 150 questions, in paper 2, 100 questions. The total marks in paper 1 is 100 and total marks in paper 2 is 200. Total marks altogether is 300. Marking scheme is each question carries 2 marks. For each correct response, the candidate will get 2 marks. Negative marking, there is no negative marking for incorrect response the moment we are recording the video at this point. What are the subject and syllabus of the test? If you go like the paper one, this is regarding teaching or research aptitude for the candidates. It will primarily design the test of reasoning ability, reading comprehension and divergent thinking and general awareness of the candidate. While the paper two is a subjective paper based on the subject that you are applying. If you are applying for the earth science, then your questions will come from earth science. Okay. So this is all about the summary of CS uh, summary of the UGC net exam. Okay, this is totally separate than the CSR UGC one. The CSR UGC is a combined joint net. UGC net is totally separate. In UGC net, you don't have life sciences as a stream to apply. You only have earth science as a stream to apply. Okay, so I believe you have a clear idea about UGC net exam. What is UGC net exam? When UGC net exam is conducted? How it is con conducted? What is the syllabus of UGC net exam? And what uh, is the exam pattern of UGC NET exam. If you know all about it, then obviously don't restrict yourself for CSI NET, appear in UGC NET exam because that will increase your chance of uh, to be able to do PhD in a reputed institute later on. And you'll also get the stipend, you'll also get the fellowship while doing PhD. So UGC NET is at per with the CSI UGC NET. But there is only one difference, is there is only one subject that you can apply to. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.